Let's play. Bonnie McFarlane. Let's go on Bonnie McFarlane. I can't see. Bonnie. Okay, what do you got on a horse? Come on. Let's go. Women and cattle, okay. I'm going to record up to like Mr. an hour Marston. or something. I've Mr. been about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. Uh, I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were... Well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me That's how to sad. read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen. Can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Interesting. Really interesting, guys. I think I'm gonna first play this game, guys. I thought the graphics look amazing, and now. All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time the.
budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Come on, boy. Thank so, you for telling um, me all that back there. When I first played this game, I was like, holy crap, these graphics look so realistic. And Red, 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 Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, I was like, wow, these graphics look amazing. But when I look back at uh, Red, Dead, Red Dead Redemption 1, these graphics look so horrible. I don't know. Good to see you, Miss McFarlane. Stop, not point a gun at someone. Let's go. On point. Get right at them. Right in this way. Key up. My headset mic works again and now it stopped. Yep. I wonder, let me go for the settings real quick. Back. Oh, we lost one cow. All that steak and beef jerky. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Okay, I, I gained some money. Come on. Sweet. Mission of the long shoulder two mission. Treasure hunters. He ain't dead enough. He ain't dead enough. There you go. Fudge, did he die? How do we search? Oh yeah, I remember why, okay. No, I'm not selling this guy's horse.
found some money. Just a little something for my trouble. Not too bad to have. Just Come on. Let's do like a little mission first, guys. Up here, I wanna see what that arrow guy is. I wanna see if it's like a mission or something. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs>
Justice in Pines Basin. Let's get this. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Bollard twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marcel? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Where is he? Let's move that, um, the chat towards, I don't know, somewhere else. Make that top right. Maybe I should put it there, I'm not sure. Try it there. Yeah, I like it. I want it in the other area. audio songs in my thing so Federal boys happy I mean we need all the help we can get but what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin yep, now I reckon all this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land, bringing modernization and betterments to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer, and it's killed a way of life. Building a factory over a field ain't gonna help nobody I know. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're gonna suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. That's different. They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. It's Are you sure with the Bollard Twins, Eli? Guys. Sure as shoot. For sure. I'd know those boys any place. Red Dead is definitely... Red Dead Redemption 1 is such a... Is, so much trouble. is definitely... We're nearly is there. Good. Keep your eyes out for the for Bollards. Music to my ears, Marshal. 
I love these, um, I love these cops. They're hilarious. <laughs> Maybe a bad guy up there, I'm not sure. We should go. Damn you. Don't think you'll be needing this. There's someone up there, but I can't hear Christ alive! Stay with me! I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air! What is it, Red Dead Redemption 2? Yeah, let me play the first game first, Lissa. Sort of good. Uh, I was a criminal, but I'm trying to redeem myself. So the government's giving me the last chance to hunt down their gang. I won't become a free man, so I'm trying to redeem myself. Snipers back in the old west, actually. I don't know, there are eight snipers. Oof, 
scopes. Maybe he's too busy trying to dodge all the bullets that are coming towards him. I don't know. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's try to sneak up on him. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Soon. Why? Why well, can't I trade straight up on serious? Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. Uh, All right. Ah, oh, thank you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. You can say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves. And the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Okay. Little bit of action today. Nigel West Diggin Dickens, okay, maybe. Let's go bond McFarland. Get my horse. Come on, horsey. It's the horse. Let's go, my dude. Don't hit a rock, okay? And I picked up a Peter ammo somehow. Let's, come on, let's do some stuff right now. Come on. 
McFarland's Ranch. All horses tame passions. Oh, I know this mission. I hate it so much. You have to stay more. I hate this mission. Thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. Look at this redneck. <laughs> so, this guy look at this redneck's My beard. daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. Then we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the pledge. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. And you're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Ooh, a lasso. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle your horse. Come on! Yeah! Guess I'll follow him. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. It ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret it sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a of dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power is like a drink. The more you have, the more this is you so have. accurate. And there are few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. That this conversation will fit so well in, in today's uh that would fit so well in today's uh world before politics and Trump and Hillary and stuff. Horses, I see it much horses. Come on, let's rope one. Yeah.
I don't care. It's just a mission I have to go. Go for that white. been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. Nah, I want to hear the mission again. Why? You never did tell me why you were never married. A 
aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure have me luck. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countrified. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He never admitted, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mrs. Marston. I'm sorry if your ears are bleeding now, guys. Let me round up my, uh, British. round up the other horses real quick, guys.
This mission is AIDS. Relax now. Nearly there. Relax. This is so hard. When I first played it, like, it took me like two days to beat this mission. I got you now. Wow, we did it first try, good. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own? As a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Yo! You have broken the canoe. Okay, I think we'll go to the store real quick. Maybe pick up like a saddle for this horse. That's a lot of money in, uh, back in the old west. Not today's standards. But, obviously, back in the day, this is probably like, I don't know, $800 or $8,000. I don't know. Um. But it's, uh, it's a lot of money, guys. That should be enough to buy a new gun. Oh, fudge. Put away the gun, okay? We don't want to shoot over the place, okay? Alright, I'm gonna go buy some new stuff, guys. I'm ending the stream here. What? Is the place is closed or something because it's dark? Oh, it must be closed. Okay, guys. I'm gonna end the stream here. Do you play like the taste of the night? Saving. Ooh, that was like fifty dollars. Holy fudge! Just for to spend the night. It's expensive. Revolver ammo. The 
would save game. Mm. I can't get in there. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna end the stream. Good. Have a good night, everyone. Let's end the stream. Bye. See ya. See ya for episode three or part three or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. See you guys. Bye.